Well, number one, you're looking out for the rush defense of the Green Bay Packers. They're ranked 29th in the NFL, giving up 4.7 yards per carry. That's going to be huge against the San Francisco team that is really running the football. If Elijah McClain and Debo Samuels have two touchdowns and over 130 yards rushing, I believe the San Francisco 49ers win this game. It's going to be something huge, and it's going to be something that everybody's going to be watching. And I do think it matters when you play a team earlier in the year and you only lose by a field goal with 37 seconds left, I believe it was, on the clock with no timeouts. San Francisco feels like they can beat this team. They're coming in with a lot of confidence, but it will be cold. But it comes down to the Packers' rush defense. Can they stop the run of San Francisco? If they do that, then the Packers win. All right, it's the biggest spread of the entire weekend, so you're not afraid of that five and a half? Not at all. Give me give me San Francisco, or you could take that Green Bay. But I like Green Bay winning with the points. It's going to be cold. In my experience in the playoff, cold weather games, those warm weather states and teams, they get a little chilly. And this has become personal for Aaron Rodgers. Since these two teams have met, Aaron Rodgers has taken a lot of flack for his personal decisions. The way to silence your critics is with a big win at home in the playoffs. So give me Green Bay and that big spread. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.